Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at who or what you can expect in love and relationships. As always, these are meant to be general love readings, so they will not resonate with every single Aries watching 100% every single time. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. Uh, sometimes those can resonate more for you. Um, so I have all of the playlists linked in the description box if you want to check out those other signs. And let's jump right into the reading for Aries. Spirit of Angels, guys. Messages, guidance, please, for Aries regarding love, relationships. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know what does Aries need to know regarding love well that doesn't look too good what's going on Aries hmm okay for Aries just a few shuffles and then I'll cut the deck what do we need to know for Aries okay and though what can you expect we have the six of wands the page of swords reverse interesting okay so one message i'm getting is like delayed a delayed message or a blocked message even though someone has their eye on you or vice versa um it's it could be that you're watching each other but no one's actually communicating um we'll clarify and see that past energies or influences on this current energy or the energy of what you can expect king of cups Ten of Pentacles reverse. You could be dealing with a water sign, someone with water in their chart. How are you feeling? What are your energies? Two of Wands reverse, the Emperor's reverse. Okay. So in your mind, I feel like a lot of you are wondering if anything's going to happen. What is going to happen? Does this have potential? Does this have potential for growth? Am I able to create something? Um, maybe you're making different choices because of a lack of growth somewhere in your life. What about the other person? This could be a person you've been dealing with in the past, present, or in the near future. Seven of Wands, Five of Swords, Reverse. Okay, so I feel like your person is over, has gone through some sort of um, battle. I'm getting this is somebody that's really fought hard uh, for something or has overcome a big hurdle in their life or um, has... Um, really had to fight or stand their ground against conflict, other people, etc. I'm also getting like blocked energy, but I don't know if that's you've blocked this person, they've blocked you, or there's a, a block here that's kind of preventing you from interacting with this person. Okay, what do you need to know that you don't know? The Emperor, there you are, Aries, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so we have the King and Queen on the board. And we also have the Emperor and the Empress on the board. Interesting. Divine counterparts. Although the Empress is reversed, but still. I think what you need to know is that this Emperor is in love. Or that there are emotions tied here with some sort of masculine energy. Okay, what can you expect in the near future? Death, Scorpio energy. And the lovers. Wow, Gemini energy. Interesting. Some sort of change or ending in a, in a partnership, in a connection. I'm also picking up like um, like a shift in a connection. Like something is not the same anymore. We'll have to see what's going on there. Um, and then a lot of major, well, actually, no. Major arcanas kind of started here in the middle. And then it just was like a bunch of major arcanas here, which are major shifts in energy. Okay, so let's look at the bottom of the deck. Why is all of this happening? What's the overall energy? Ace of Cups reverse. There's a reason I was looking at the Ace of Cups reverse or it showed itself to me while I was shuffling. Yeah, there's been some sort of disappointment, um, feeling overwhelmed emotionally, um, someone being heartbroken, sad. And we'll have to see what that's about. I have the Knight of Pentacles right after that. I think this is more about like a timing thing. Um, this is more uh, one of those readings where there's some sort of block that exists that's causing issues. So let's see if I'm right about that. Let me get some insight, please. Clarity for Aries regarding these energies. What does Aries need to know? 
can you tell us about all of these energies? Okay, let's start with this Ace of Cups reverse. This is why everything is happening. What can you tell us about the Ace of Cups reverse? Why is the Ace of Cups reverse? Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Again, I feel like something has been taking time. I have the Chariot at the bottom of the deck, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and then the Ace of Cups. I feel like someone's been waiting for another person. Um, maybe there's someone that's very quiet, reserved, um, even though there's a lot of emotions here. And then the Chariot showed up. It's almost like, I don't know, like someone left the connection even though feelings were still present or someone's being very um, distant despite there being love here. There could be a physical distance with Chariot. I have to see what, what the heck is going on here. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed when the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles are here? It doesn't really make sense because unless someone's still working on this and, it, and, you know, after all their effort, all they can bring to you is a Page of Pentacles, which is something like, let's go out on a date, you know. What's going on here with this Ace of Cups reverse? What do we need to know about this Ace of Cups reverse? Oops. Okay, I dropped another card. Yeah, the Five of Wands, there's something here. Knight of Cups, Five of Wands. It's like emotion is not the problem. Someone, Someone's feelings for you, that's not the issue here. It's something else. I feel like there's conflict here, possibly with a group of people. Five of uh, Wands, Five of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. This could be on your person's side just because it's showing up for them down here. Conflict at home, four of wands, yeah, three of cups. I feel like there's something happening within a group of people, possibly a family, other partners, or other or friends, or colleagues, or something that's causing issues. It's almost like someone's prevented from love, or being kept from love. That's what I'm getting so far. I don't know if that's you, I don't know if that's your person, I don't know if that's both of you. But I think there's a disappointment here because love cannot happen or is being prevented from happening or something like that. Why is the Page of Swords reverse? Why is the Page of Swords reverse? Ace of Swords, yeah. It's like someone wants to talk, but they're not. Someone wants to tell the truth but they are not. There's the Eight of Wands. What's the, what's the holdup? What's preventing someone from doing what they want to do? Can I get one more for the Page of Swords reverse? This could also be that someone wants to say what they haven't been able to say. Maybe, because um, this is in the what you can expect, maybe somebody will finally speak their truth here. Tell me more about this Page of Swords. Yeah, reverse, Queen of Swords. I feel like this is someone that's going to tell you the truth or tell you something important. Maybe they're going to tell you the truth um, after they didn't tell you the truth, or maybe they're gonna tell you everything, whereas in the past you didn't really know anything or, or everything or you didn't discuss everything. Um, what's this truth related to? Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. What's this in regards to Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords? What can you tell us? Okay. Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. I think this is someone that's just gonna tell you how they feel. Oops. So they might discuss the past, the past between you, the past that they have. Um, Queen of Cups shows up again. I Again, you know, I think this is somebody that has feelings for you, Aries. And I think it's mutual. There's attraction, there's, there's feelings here that are already 
that already exist. But for some reason, I don't think that it's been really discussed. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here? Judgment. This could be somebody asking for well, no, let's let's clarify before I, I say that. Tell me about judgment. What can you tell me about judgment? Why is judgment here? Six of swords. And the tower. Wow. I feel like someone's got, someone has made a move in their life or has had a tower happen in their life. And I think... Um, they're making some sort of judgment call and it involves you or you can flip that because this is what's what you can expect in love and so your energies are here as well as the other person's um, something happened here if you didn't have if you didn't have a tower moment then obviously it's the other person um, but someone had a tower moment that caused them to leave and I feel like Either they can come to you asking for a second chance or they're making some sort of judgment call in their life that involves you. And I feel like judgment with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords, this could be an actual phone call or some sort of conversation. Now what you need to know that affects this is the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups, uh, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. What can you tell me about the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles reverse? Eight of Swords. Tell me about the King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone is like they're they're stuck, restricted, their hands are tied. They can't do what they really want to do. I don't know if it's due to fear or what. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. This person has been literally stuck somewhere or has held back from you or vice versa. You could you could be the one that's not communicating how you feel. Yeah, stuck, stuck, stuck. All these energies are stuck and then the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone who, for some reason, this energy, they could be in a long-term commitment that's broken or they could be in a situation that's not stable, not financially stable. Um, however, I feel like this person has still, it's like their eye is on you. This king of cups looking at this queen of cups. You know, the, the interest is still there between you and this person. I don't know. I don't think that I'm speaking to Aries who are with this person or have been with this person. This is someone that's like worried, stressed, anxious, feeling, I don't know, like they can't sleep. Um, and this could have something to do with a family or a family situation. Or maybe they're just worried about coming to you and telling you all of this because it's probably going to be a lot. Let's see if we can get some insight into your energies here. Spirit, give me some insight into the energies between Aries and this other person. Give me some insight, please, into the energies between Aries and this other person that they are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future. Tell me about Aries. Tell me about Aries. What do we need to know about Aries? Cold shoulder, walking away. Silence, distance, corner. Someone's feeling shut out and you're walking away towards something more fulfilling. Um, wow, yeah, there's definitely distance between you and this person. You could have walked away from this person in the past or they could have walked away from you. I don't think this is something that you are considering doing right now. I'm just not picking that up. I feel like this happened already in the past. Okay, tell me about the person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with. Tell me about this other person. What are their energies, this other person? 
unhealthy attachment. What is Dan? You're both like, what is what is going on with this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Difficult decision. Yeah, this person I feel has been fighting for. I mean, it's funny because you know that kind of like meme about fighting for your life. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I thought about, about it right now like this person has been fighting for their life, but I don't think it's funny <laughs> I think they've been going through something really hard parting ways separation divide heartbreak someone um, There's a disconnect between you someone here. There's something here with a a, a a partnership that is severed or a connection that is severed um, I just can't for some reason I don't feel confident saying that you are separating from this person. I just, I'm not feeling that. That's why I'm kind of wondering if there's someone else. Are you in a third party situation? Is this something that perhaps you separated, but that was long ago? I just don't pick it up as it being an issue now. The fact that, you know, there's an actual separation and a connection. Um, I don't know. I might be wrong about that, but I feel like if, if that was the case, it would show up a little bit more here and I just don't, I'm not seeing it yet. However, you are, uh, the, no, not you are, the Empress is reversed. So in your, on, um, in your energy here, there has not been growth or expansion or you could be very upset. What happened here with the Empress reverse? The Empress Reverse is typically an energy that has invested their time and energy in the wrong thing. And so that's why their things are not growing. Or they planted their seeds in the wrong garden. I sometimes see the Empress Reverse as a Seven of Pentacles Reverse. Tell me about the Empress Reverse. What, what do we need to know about the Empress Reverse? Eight of Wands. Okay. What else? What else do we need to know about the Empress reverse? The Fool. Okay, so I feel like this is definitely um, this this situation that has not been growing or manifesting. Whatever has not been created. Um, I feel like it's pushing someone into a new cycle. The Lovers, the Fool, the King of Cups. A new partnership, perhaps. Gemini energy there. Okay, so why is the two of wands reverse? Is this a decision that someone has made? Tell me about the two of wands reverse. Sometimes the two of wands reverse can mean that someone hasn't been able. Why is the tower here? The tower and the devil? What the heck? Capricorn energy, five of swords. Oh no, this is your person. This is your person. Yeah. Three of Wands. Oh, there's that waiting period. Okay. This is your, okay. You are in your energy. Your energy is involved in this person's problems, if that makes sense. So I feel when they talk to you about what's going on, this is something that affects you. Whatever tower they're experiencing or have been experiencing in the recent past, it's affecting you. This, it's almost like the tower they're experiencing could be opening the door for you and them. Maybe the tower involves you and another person, for example. If this is, let's say this is a third party situation. They could be splitting up with a third party to be with you. So that tower affects both of you. There's m multiple people that play in that tower. That makes sense. What the hell is going on here? Tell me about the tower and the fool. Tell me about the tower and the fool. Yeah, this is a whole new beginning. The world... This tower is bringing in a new cycle and for some, maybe you're both going through a tower then, or like I said, this tower will eventually be your problem, but I don't mean that like in a bad way. It's almost like you, you will be involved in all of this in some capacity. 
Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords reverse. What's going on with your person? Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords reverse. The High Priestess. So back to, oh, sorry, because I'm still thinking about this Empress. I'm like, why is this Empress reverse? I think that things ended with you and this person and it didn't go anywhere. And even though it didn't go anywhere substantial, you, you or this person or both of you have not been able to let it go. And so it's like you're doing this all over. There's a, there's a like redoing, there's a redo happening. I feel like this person's going to talk to you about what happened or you're going to talk about what didn't work out. You're going to talk about something like that. Okay. Back, back to this person. Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords. The Hangman. Okay. So this is this is your person's energy. And again, I, I get that energy of being stuck and not able to say something with the High Priestess and the Hangman. Maybe this person has not told you things because... I mean, it could be many reasons. Um... Maybe because they don't want to spring this on you. Maybe because it's too much. Maybe because it's none of your business. Or they don't want to talk to you until everything is done. Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords reverse. I feel like this person has been fighting, fighting, fighting against something. Yeah, the Devil. Capricorn Energy. Look at all this Major Arcana on your side and on their side but this is more because of them so i feel they're going through a huge cycle closing in their life a huge change this other person and for some reason it's going to make your life change both of your lives will change this person has been in an unhealthy atta attachment they have a difficult decision to make. They're ready to make it though. Page of Wands is here. Seven of Wands is somebody that I feel has been fighting and will continue to fight. They're not giving up. Because this person I feel has... This tower is happening. And it could be that this tower is happening to them. And they didn't really want it to happen. But it's still, you know, it's here. You got to deal with it. Or they brought it along. They brought this tower themselves they decided to do something shocking and unexpected i think they haven't been able to do much because they've been in this situation tell me about the emperor and the queen of cups this is what you need to know that you might not know what do we need to know about the emperor and the queen of cups what do we need to know seven of pentacles what do we need to know about the emperor? Yeah, it's like after some, this person's probably still wondering if you care about them because they they care about you. And it's like, will it work out? How does Aries feel? Do they feel the same way? I feel like with the seven of pentacles, time has passed. Tell me about the emperor and the queen of cups. What can you tell me about the emperor and the queen of cups? Justice, yeah, Libra energy. Someone's wondering if things will work out, if things will resolve themselves between you and them, if there will be balance, if, you know, all of this. There could also be wondering about a legal matter, the lovers again, yeah. You could be dealing with a soulmate, uh, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, soulmate, twin flame, past life, I have the Six of Cups, the lovers is here twice. King of Cups is here, Queen of Cups is here. Um, I don't know if they, I, I don't think the King of Cups has shown up in the little cards, but um, I feel like there's um there's a lot of love here. This is all about love. Okay, so what can you expect next? We have Death and the Lovers. So, like I said earlier, this could be about a change. So let's see. I'm gonna break it down separately. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Scorpio energy. Why is death here? 
Two of Wands. Yeah, someone, there's a, a different path ahead. Different future, a change. Tell me about death. Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the lovers. Oops, those two came out really quick. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Okay. Again, with like distance and no communication with the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Like I literally I'm picturing someone outside and there's nothing going on, nothing being said. Healing as well. Let me get some, I want one more. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, there's the King of Cups. So, hmm, okay, tell me about the Two of Wands before I, hold on, let me just put these down first. Tell me about the Two of Wands. What's this Two of Wands about? What's these Two of Wands about? I just want one more. There's the Two of Wands here. Yeah, okay. So, what I'm seeing here, I feel this is your person. King of Cups, Three of Swords, Nine of Wands. This is someone that has literally been to war. They are extremely, like they've been through it. Whoever, this is the person that's gone, gone through this tower and it's taken a lot out of them. It's been painful, heartbreaking. They've probably been deceived. Yeah, Seven of Swords, the Moon. They've probably been dis deceived. There's that Ten of Swords. It's been difficult for them. Um, but they're choosing a new path, two of wands. They're choosing a new path and it's, it's because something has ended or changed for them. So this is your person. And once again, I feel like this will affect you. This involves you because the King of Cups is here. So this involves you, right? And if we want more confirmation, the lovers is here. So it's about a partnership. So what do we have with the partnership here? We have the Knight of Pentacles. An offer that's taking a sweet time. The Knight of Pentacles is also here. An offer that's taking a while to arrive. Um, a solid offer, a stable offer. Um, an offer that this Nine of Pentacles is worth having. I'm also getting like this person probably had to detach themselves, be um, independent of someone, or financially they are free, but because they're free and they're you know on their own, they might be having some difficulties here. I think this person's coming in out of the cold. I think this person's coming in out of, um, I don't want to say like retirement, but it feels like that. Like someone that's like back. It's like I'm back and I'm showing up as a nine of pentacles or this is kind of what I'm going after. Let me see if I can get one more. Can you get one more please for this nine of pentacles with the five of pentacles and the four of swords? What do we need to know? about these energies, five of pentacles, nine of pentacles, four of swords, the magician. Yeah, this is what this person wants to make happen. What else? This is what they want. They're, they're, they're getting up, they're coming in out of the cold, out of all of this like difficulty that they've been with or been dealing with, and now they're here to go after what they want. Get all this yellow. I feel like they have been, I don't know, it's like they've been waiting for to make this happen with you, or they've been waiting for like the dust to settle, or they've been waiting for, I don't know, it's almost like waiting for the right time to go after what they want. And I feel like going through this major tower moment, major battle that I feel like this person has been in, where now they're like worn out, stressed out, possibly drained financially, emotionally, whatever the case may be. I feel like they know exactly what they want though. Because of everything they've been through, they know exactly what they want. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you so much for watching, for your uh, like, share, subscribes, and your kind comments. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.